So the objective here, which um, is more of an advanced uh, situation, is to try to give the students the idea of true and false and the, and the way that you can combine those to check for particular conditions. So for instance, is it the evening time? Is the light gone down? Do the plants need watering? If both are true, then let's start the pump. If a, such a situation is true or the other situation is true, perform an action. So this is the, uh, the sort of uh, end outcome. And as uh, we've seen before, we're going to create um, a new block uh, so that we can explore these things. Um, for simplicity's sake, um, I'm going to just create a couple of variables uh, called file one and I shall duplicate that and we shall have a new one called var2 and uh, within the logic section we also have the true uh, which I can duplicate so we'll set both our variables 1 and 2 to true and then I'm going to use a logic if uh, for which I want an else so that I can then perform my Boolean operations uh, on this. So, in logic, if something and something do, uh, we shall pull our variables over. If, uh, oh, again, a little bit of dragging and dropping going on here. Variables two. Then we shall, in a silly teenager manner, say K, OK. Um, otherwise, we will just get it to not say anything at all. And so if we give that a try, run, it comes up with K. We don't need to press any buttons. We've just got it doing it straight away. So if I set this to false, if var1 is true and var2 is false, that's going to fail because uh, they are both not true and so we get a blank. And you can then have uh, other combinations where you could say one or the other. So this is var1 or var2, so that'll be true or false and true always wins out or we like to believe so, so we get a K. If however we then change this one to false and run that, uh, we get a blank. Um, so for and, both of them need to be true, but for or, either of the two can be true and it will then uh, follow through. There is also a, a, a possibility that uh, can come up and in some of the scripts that I use where I start things off with button A and then I want them to stop with button B, you have to use a not because what you want to do is uh, change things around. So, we can take not and a variable which we shall take. So if not var1, so var1 is currently false, we turn it round so that makes it true. We'll run that and it says K. And just to show that working for real, we'll change that to true. It then becomes false. Um, and the, uh, the, the sort of uh, scenario that um, I, I frequently use is a uh, is within a loop where I'm saying if not button B is pressed. Um, so I'm continuing to do my action uh, whilst I'm not holding down button B. Um, and uh, you'll find uh, on various tutorials that I've got uh, where that is the case. So that covers this segment and there's just one other short piece uh, where we talk about the numbering system for uh, computers uh, where numbers start at zero.